In the second video I want to show you a live demonstration for the tabletop. For this I open the file manager and go to the relax2 folder where I open the relax2 main python file. Here I execute the script to start the graphical user interface. This pop-up dialog needs the IP address from the red tire. When I have the right IP address, I can connect and the main window will open. To check my MR parameters, I click on parameters and open the parameter window. Here I can set the TE time to about 15 milliseconds and the sampling time to like 6 milliseconds. To acquire my first spectrum, I click on spectroscopy and choose the spin echo sequence. Then I can press acquire. The MR acquires the data which I now can process. Here you can see the spectrum data. We see a signal peak in the frequency domain. We can zoom in into this frequency domain and we will see that the peak is slightly offset from a transmit pulse. To set the transmit pulse to the peak frequency, we just press recenter. We now can acquire a new spectrum and process the data and we will see that our frequency peak is now in the middle where the transmit frequency is. We only see very slight oscillations in the time domain. After we have found the RF frequency, so the Lama frequency, we now need to know the 90 and 180 degree condition. For that we need to set the pulse height of the transmit pulse. We do this with the RF attenuation. To make it easy, we can use the Transmit Adjust tool. In the Transmit Adjust tool, you can set the attenuation range. The programmable attenuator on the Okra 1 has a range from minus 31 to minus 1 dB. We set about 20 steps and press go. After the measurement time, the results will appear. With high attenuation, so small RF pulses, only small signal gets acquired. With higher flip angle and higher pulses we get to the first maxima. This is the 90 and 180 degree condition. After that we flip further to like 180 degree where we get to the first minima. Then we get 270 degrees and 360 degree. We have to look for the first maxima which is the 90 180 degree condition, which has minus 15 dB of RF attenuation. This is also the result of the transmit adjust tool. In the parameter window, we now can set the RF attenuation to the tool reference. After the setup, we now can play around. First, I want to introduce you to the projections. For that, I choose the tab projections and choose the spin echo projection sequence on axis. I select the x, y and z axis in the parameter window and press acquire. After the measurement I can process the data and the projections are plotted. You see the projection for the x, y and z direction. In the tabletop orientation, a cross section of the chemical test tube is the X and Z spectra, which you can see here. This is just a test tube full of water. I repeated the measurement with a two hole sample from the presentation. If I process the data, you see the cross section of the chemical test tube in the image. I turned the chemical test tube by 90 degrees. 
Now the projections are inverted, what you also can see in the image. It's also possible to acquire projections in an arbitrary angle. Just choose spin echo projection on angle and insert the angle in the parameters window. Projections at an angle directly leads to radial imaging. We go to the imaging tab and select radial imaging spin echo full. We need to set the image resolution, the sampling time and the angle steps for the radial imaging acquisition. These values auto generate the readout gradient amplitude. When finished, we click acquire and you will see the okra acquires the data. This will take a while. Exactly the steps times the repetition time, which is set to one second. After the measurement, we can reconstruct the image by pressing data process. This will reconstruct the image from the radial data, which is sorted in the case space. With the more angles, you get more detail in the images. And now you surely can see the two hole probe. The next sequence is the good old spin echo sequence. For that, we only set TE, the sampling time, to like 10 milliseconds. And the resolution to like 64 pixels. This auto generates the gradients and we can press acquire. When the sampling time is too long for the short TE time, the software will detect that and will set the TE time to a minimum needed value. After the acquisition, we can reconstruct the image by clicking on data process. In the image viewer, you can see the k-space magnitude, the k-space phase, the magnitude image and the phase image. The complex raw data gets stored every time you acquire. And by the default name, the file gets overwritten every time. You can change the file name in the software or in the folder. You find the raw data in the relax2 raw data folder. This also enables the reconstruction of previous acquired data. After reconstruction, also image data can be stored. In the plot viewer, that shows you the image parameters, you can click on save magnitude image data and save face image data. This can be found in the relax folder in the relax2 image data folder. Let's do another image sequence. I choose the turbo spin echo sequence with four echoes and click acquire. With its four echoes, the turbospin echo only needs 16 acquirements instead of 64 like the normal spin echo sequence. This is much faster. After the acquisition, I can click on data process to get the image of the new sample. I want to show you the imaging sequences I implemented in the last month. We have 2D gradient imaging spin echo imaging, also as inversion recovery, and with slice selection. We have 3D imaging, turbo spin echo imaging, also diffusion and flow compensation imaging. And the first glance of echo planar imaging, which is really hard to implement and not fully functional yet. 
also radial imaging like I showed in the beginning. With this, I want to thank you for your attention. I will publish my software soon, but I have to figure out GitHub first. If you have questions about the software and want to try it out, or questions about our tabletop and its parts, you can contact me via my email address. All technical publications from the tabletop you can find on zoitmatographics.org slash okra.